Listen, the greatest power you have in a relationship, it's not in your dominance, it's not in your masculinity. The greatest power you have in a relationship is your power to not give a fuck. The power of indifference. This is Jim with SeductionUnleashed.com, help you unleash your best with women and beyond. And if it's your first time to this channel and you're interested in dating, relationships, self-improvement, and motivational content, start now by clicking that subscribe and bell notification so you can join that notification gang, bro. I gotta be honest, I know this for a lot of us, you know, when we learn to be alpha, whatever you want to call it, when we learn to be dominant with a girl, sometimes we make the mistake of taking that dominance as being emotional. Your power as a man is not to be emotional. It's not so much, oh, they're feminine and you're, you know, ready to fucking be angry at any moment. That's still very emotional. Here's the thing about women. Women, they're, they're emotion. Consider this for a second. If you get angry, what happens to you physically? Like physically, what are the effects? Your heart rate speeds up. Maybe your fucking palms get clammy. Maybe, you know, you're your breathing she's very shallow you have the physical reactions of someone who say if you were to jump out of a plane what would happen your palms would probably get sweaty you probably get butterflies in your stomach you get a lot of the same physical reactions the same physical symptoms despite the fact that they're different emotions but women women emotion is emotion to them so you can get a girl extremely angry adrenaline ready to explode and that actually is way better than just having her completely neutral for women emotion is emotion okay so if you get if they get angry right and then you proceed to get angry back but you think you're being dominant and you think you're being alpha but you got your emotions high that's actually still very fucking bad because when you do that shit you're still rewarding their energy with more energy. It's even worse if you say every time you have a big fight, you have really adrenaline-fueled makeup sex. What do you think that's doing? That's just programming the subconscious mind to associate, oh, I know that when I throw a fucking tantrum, I can end up having like great fucking makeup sex. Even if she's not consciously thinking of it, you're programming that shit into her mind that me throwing a tantrum leads to amazing pleasure. That's not how you want to fucking program that girl because I tell you what, once you condition a girl to something, it's very difficult to go backwards. If you get a girl in your house every week and then suddenly you go back to seeing her like once a week like you used to when you first met her, that's gonna be a fucking problem. She's gonna give you drama. That's why your biggest strength is always the power of taking your attention away. But at the same time, if you're just really emotional like, yo, what the fuck, I told you to do this and then you fucking did this and Love, that's also fucking bad because you know what happens when you do that what it happens they just they just they're like a mirror they just reflect that shit right back at you and then they're just like I what I didn't fucking do nothing I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. next thing you know you got a bitch over here in your face and you're just going back and forth and it's not a fucking good time and that's not what you want to condition her to because the reality is not only you're gonna condition her but you're also gonna condition yourself I'm telling you if every time you get upset you actually get upset and you guys fight and you actually get emotionally charged up. You're training yourself to react that way every time she upsets you. So if you condition yourself to always take away and pull back when she gives you drama, when she upsets you, that'll train her to know that she can't do that and that'll train you to know that you cannot just simply fucking get angry every time she gets angry. That shit is gonna lead to you to the brink of insanity because what's going to happen is, is as a man you're going to want to logically argue and debate points for a possible solution but the problem is that women they don't argue for a solution they just argue energy if you are if you give them angry energy they're just going to give you angry energy until it fades and the energy turns happy the words mean nothing to them that's what gets niggas so frustrated but you don't want to get frustrated because what's the definition of insanity What's the definition, dude? We all know it, right? It's doing the same shit over and over again, expecting a different fucking conclusion. That's what arguing with a woman with logic, trying to get to a point while you're both, both of your emotions are high. It's just, it's pointless. The only way you can check a bitch is by taking away your attention, point blank, period. This is a quick tip. You need to take this to heart, especially if you're in a relationship, which is why it's so important to live on your own, to live by yourself, and to really consider if you ever let a girl stay over at your house, I'm telling you, once you start going over three times a week, seeing them or letting them come over to your house, I'm telling you, it's going to be very difficult to go backwards. It's also going to be very difficult to check her when she's always around you. Because no matter what, once she starts to, once she starts to be around you all the time, 
it's even more difficult to check them because they just get more and more entitled. So you always need to have a management of your time. Otherwise, you're always going to be jumping through hoops to try and please this creature whose emotions are just going to be going up and down. But the difference is that, you know, you're trying to be logical. You want peace in your area. That's important for your mental focus and your mental discipline as a man. That's why I'm very against actually the idea of even living with a female in the first place. I can't put my happiness and my peace of mind in someone else's hands freely like that. So before you consider getting married, before you consider just jumping into something, always take the time to see what it's really like being with her over a long amount of time and never forget that that is your biggest strength. Consider your time as a man. It's the most important asset you have, period. So if you enjoyed that kick-ass video and you wanna see more on dating relationships, self-improvement and motivational content, start now by clicking that subscribe and bell notification so you can join that notification gang. So with that being said, gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Confidence bred by competence.